Hello everybody, this is Dream of the Earth to kick off the quarter-final round for the Kakashin Clash Tournament. And yes, there'll be three matches in this video, and then three matches in part two before the semi-final begins. So, without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Right then, in the red corner, we've got the Rugops. The Rugops was pretty impressive in the first round. Bum, 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 bum. Beating the Metric Amphosaurus. The ninja attack proved vital, and it could prove vital in this matchup as well. In the blue corner, however, we have the Eoraptor. What will it transform into this time, however? Oh, it's so Faganax. That's probably not the best one to get because it won't have heat eruption. But so Faganax it is. Ding, ding, ding. Can the Eoraptor continue its impressive form in this tournament, or will the Rugops' crit rip it a new one? Ooh, this, is a, this could be a tough one to call. Well, with a start like that, Rugops is probably going to win. <laughs> but I'm not sure how the type advantage and disadvantage works with Eoraptor. The fact that it got Sorofagadax might have saved it, yeah. Okay, maybe not. But I think it did save it major, major damage. But wow, that is the might of Rugops. Ooh, is it tie? Oh, they're both blunt. No, I think Rugops got Moonbreaker. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely Moonbreaker. But it's a strong start from the Rugops. Another tie. Can the Oraptor land a hit? Nope! Rugops comfortably winning round one. Yeah, if if the Eoraptor had something other than Sorofagonax, then it probably would have stood a better chance getting off those tie moves. But nope, it is Rugops in the lead. Will he stay in the lead though? Let's find out in round two. Right then, round two. Will the Rugops get the ninja attack off again, or will the Eoraptor strike back? Well, if it... Ooh, that's not good either. A stag, which means it's not going to have Sand Trap. That's probably not good for the Eoraptor. It does have Rock Roller, though. And it does have, a, and it does have the Mole attack, but yeah, it really needed this to be something other than Steg or Sorofagnax. And if Rugops lands a crit, then... Okay, he doesn't land a crit. The Eoraptor avoids that crit, gets off a defense boost as well. This is a better start this time. Interesting. Oh, the tie. Although, ties do help the Rugops a bit, because it does have the, um... Move Breaker. Ooh, a critical block coming in, which means Rugops is going for the crit next turn. And you've got a 50% chance of getting it. Oh, you can't go rock. You can't go rock. Oh, this is going to be big. Big damage coming your Raptor's way. But I think with a defense burst, it will survive. If it didn't have defense burst, Rugops will probably kill it. Oh, look at that! that close the defense boost! Saving your Raptor from a fraction! Okay, yeah, your Raptor's gone. <laughs> it was always going to be a wild card in this tournament, and it got unlucky getting both Spaganax and Steg. And the Rugops advances to the semi final round, quite convincingly. Can anyone stop Rugops? Right, on to our next matchup of this session. Okie dokie then, in the red corner, we got the Alpha Super Minus, the big bully from the first round, demolishing the Gondwana Titan, and we'll be looking to do the same in this matchup as well. However, I think it's in for a much tougher test, because in the blue corner, we have got Augustinia, one of the very last water dinosaurs to be added to the game. In fact, I think it's the very last water dinosaur to be added. And it absolutely pulverised the Alpha Ratosaurus in the first round. 
and he's looking to defeat yet another Alpha Dinosaur. Ooh, I don't know who's going to win this match. I, I fancy the Suka. I fancy the Suka. Well, with a start like that, you've got to fancy Suka Minus. It's a banana surprise. Oh, he's one big banana. <laughs> I'd like to see the monkey that ate that thing. He's like King Kong size. <laughs> Oops, a tie. Being a Suka Mimus off to a strong start, getting a water sword. Oh, I almost killed it. <laughs> wow, that move is so weak on this guy. Ooh, Augustinia not dead and buried yet. Getting a hit off. Super Minus has not won this round yet. Technic boost coming in there. Of course, the odds are vastly in Suko's favour now. And yet, there it is. Banana surprise. Gonna trip the Augustinia up and probably break his neck in the process. Boosh! And that is a 1 0 lead for Alpha Suka Minus. Right, let's move on to round two. Oh, we're back on the beach again. See, seeing a lot of the beach in this episode, aren't we? Well, the beach is where water dinosaurs will be favoured. So it makes sense that we're on the beach. But which water dinosaur will prevail here? Will it be Alpha Suko or will Augustinia get back in the match? Ooh, Augustinia getting the first hit. Good start there, getting the tech boots. Not as a tie. Don't think ties really favour anyone in this matchup. Okay, maybe Augustinia there, getting the blunder effect. Another tie. Ooh, Augustinia get another hit. Will we see Aqua Javelin as well? And Aqua Javelin will probably end this round. Oh, we don't. Wow, even with double technique boost, no Aqua Javelin. Ooh, and all of a sudden, Sukamimus land in a crit. Is Augustinia's lead gone? Well, oh, it's poison. Okay, yeah, it's gone. The poison has made sure of it. Ooh, wow, this is really tight now all of a sudden. Oh, but Augustinia clings on to equalize. And we are level pegging between these two wonderful water dinosaurs. So you know what that means? It's all going to come down to this next round. Right, our deciding round and fitting that we're on the sunset beach field. <laughs> it's like these two are squaring off for a sunset showdown. One final sunset showdown. Super Minus getting the first hit on the board. Of course, not much damage done since all its power is in the crit. Another hit there. Alpha Suko quick start. But one hit from Augustinia will probably even things up. Oh, oh, never mind. Augustinia's probably going to die. <laughs> A very anticlimactic deciding round between these two. Our Super Minus dominates. Oh, it oh, ugh, the poison's not going to kill it. But yeah, okay, I think I think the Alpha Super's going to win. Yeah, there it is. A crit from Alpha Suko, a dominating third round, and it's Alpha Super Minus who takes out Augustinia and advances to the semi-finals where he will meet the Rukops. Right there. On to our final match of this session, and this one could be a doozy. Right then, in the red corner, we've got the one and only, the big bad Brontekins. But this Brontekins could be in for one of the toughest tests it'll face in the tournament. And you'll see why in a minute. Well, I'm sure you'll know why if you've watched the previous round. If you watched the previous videos. But this Brontekins is in for a tough match because in the blue corner, as you can see, we got our Bertoceratops. This old Bertoceratops pulled off the upset of the round last time out against the Eocarcaria, the Omega one that is. 
and he's looking to take out yet another armored dinosaur. Although, I will say, unlike that match against Eocarcaria, it has a more fit a favorable chance because of the type advantage. Can he land them Thunder Drivers? This is going to be a very intriguing match. Can Brontekin survive the type disadvantage? Another type. Mm, Brontekin gets the first hit. Thunder Driver only gets triggered after the win. And so far, Alberta Ceratops cannot get a hit. Boosh, boosh. It's a tail smash. Things looking good for Bronte Kings. But finally, Alberta Ceratops lands a hit on the board. Final Fury coming in as well. Alberta Ceratops comfortable when his HP is low. There's that Thunder Driver. Ooh, there's a tie. Ooh, another tie. We might see Spectral Armor. Ooh, but the Alberta Ceratops coming back into this. He's not defeated yet. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Okay, okay, yeah, I think Bronthakins. Now the odds are in Bronthakins' favor. Purely because of that Aqua Vortex. Of course, they were in his favor anyway. A tie would have been enough. But yeah, there it is. Aqua Vortex coming in to finish the job. Bronthakins hanging on there, despite the late fight back from Alberta Ceratops. And it is Bronthakins in the lead. Ah, oh, we, we got the Spectral Armor as well, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I have little hopes that we'll see Spectral Armor. But you never know, we might see it. Let's move on to round two. Right then, round two. Will Bronthikins get the job done here, or will Alberta Ceratops level things up? I feel like if Alberta Ceratops can get the first hit, I think that'll set him up nicely. Get our Thunder Driver triggered. Get the type of antigen got in action. Have to see. Ooh, well he does get the first hit. Won't do much damage, but Thunder Driver will get triggered. So that will limit the damage that Bronthakins' crit can do. Ooh, this is a quick start from Alberta Ceratops this time. Not messing about like he did last time. Ooh, but Bronthikin strikes back with his first hit this round. Struffio rush to come as well. Slippy slippy slap slap. Slap stick. See, this is kind of the matchup where you want loads of ties, just so we get to see Spectral Armor. Ooh, that's a tie. Maybe I'll get my wish. <laughs> Ooh, it's a crit! The type advantage will spear our boot the Ceratops major damage though. But the Struffio Rush still chipping away. And Final Fury will be in effect. A Thunder Driver plus Final Fury might end this round. Ooh, it's a tie! A boot of Ceratops clinging on you. Ooh, here comes the Final Fury. Alberta Ceratops not beaten yet. And look at this, we are, ooh, well, I was going to say we are level, but that Aqua Vortex might have just saved one miss for Bronthikins. Oh, it does, Aqua Vortex playing a factor, getting the job done for Bronthikins. And despite having a tight advantage, Alberta Ceratops just couldn't get a Thunder Driver going. But, you know, he, he still had his memorable victory in taking out the Omega Eocark area. But this time, Bronthikins just proved too much. Right, we'll have a look at our matchups for this next session, and then we'll end this session. Right, well, there's one of our matchups for the semi final round. The Rugops going up against Sukamimus, the Alpha Sukamimus. Very intriguing clash of strong crits there. It could all come down to who gets their crits. And Bronthikins. 
getting their place in the semi-final as well after dis defeating Alberta Ceratops. And we'll find out his opponent in the next session, which will conclude the quarter-final round with these three matches. And until then, thanks for watching, and this is Stranger Gamer, signing out. <laughs>